With health experts world over predicting that the coronavirus is here to stay. This is the report. It appears the negative economic impact of COVID-19 in the country is now inevitable. The latest report by the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics laying bare the hard reality crushing millions of Kenyans. 21% of Kenyans failing to pay their rent for April. Treasury CS Ukuriatani says 16,000 households participated in the survey conducted between 2nd and 9th of May. It's clear that the direction that has been given by the government or the employers to stay at home has actually now manifested itself here. And even within the population of tenants who submitted their monthly rent to their landlords, a hoping 30.5% were unable to pay on their agreed date. Only 59.8% of those who usually pay rent were able to pay for the month of April on time. And the two main reasons for the inability to pay rent were either reduced income or temporary loss of job. The participation rate, meaning people actively involved in the labor force or day-to-day work, was at 56.8%. Males accounting for 65.3%. Almost 49% of the working population were engaged in their own businesses, while 31.7% were paid employees outside the household. The CS says Kenyans should prepare for tough times ahead. Now we've been hit by this shock. Never planned for, never anticipated in any way. And therefore, all the parameters and the assumptions that we put in place are now going to change. And it's on this basis that we expect low revenue from the areas that I've already cited earlier. Low imports, therefore low import duty. The activities within our own economy have seriously slowed down. The education sector has been affected immensely. 24.6% of learners in the country, representing approximately 5 million learners, have not held a book or attempted to participate in any form of learning since schools were closed down due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The cost of transport has almost doubled, with Migori County recording the highest increase in the amount of cost paid with 77.2% increase. The CS did not promise any new measures to further cushion Kenyans against the adverse effects of the coronavirus, only promising six more surveys on the same to be conducted between now and July. And as the number of the COVID-19 cases in the country continues to rise each day, the government seeks to maximize on some of the findings from the report in stepping up its measures aimed at cushioning Kenyans from the hard economic times. Makori Citizen TV. Nairobi.